Today I'm wanting to share with you a little testimony that I've had on my heart for a long time. It started last December, end of last year. I had three weeks of eating that I would throw back up, vomit back up. I couldn't keep anything down. And I would try lying on my left side and um, I, it would make me dizzy. So I would turn over on my right side and I would feel okay. Well, it went on for three weeks like that. And um, finally a friend of mine, she came by and, and uh, she said, I think you need to go to the hospital. And uh, so my husband had been trying to get me to go and get me admitted, but uh, I was leery about getting, you know, I, I didn't want to go to the hospital again. I just, I've been through so, so much that I didn't want that to happen, but I finally gave in. I went to MD Anderson in Houston, and uh, of course they had admitted me. And uh, they did some tests, and they couldn't find out. They did a CT scan, and it didn't show them anything. And uh, they finally, in a day or so, they did an MRI. And um, it showed them that I had a, a brain tumor on the um, right side of the back of my head. And um, they told me that I needed surgery to have that tumor removed. And I said, okay. Okay, that'd be fine, whatever you need to do. I didn't know what outcome would come, you know, how I would be after it was over, but uh, I knew I couldn't go on like I was. The um, doctors had told my family that if I hadn't come in, that within two weeks I'd have been gone. And so um, a few days before my surgery, I become co and I, I couldn't, I couldn't remember anything. I, I just, I, I would try to talk to him. And I knew what I was saying, but they couldn't understand me. And frustrating, you know, but uh, I, uh, I became where I didn't know much. And the day before the surgery, um, my husband, Charlie, and my three sons, Charlie Jr., Shelby, and Travis, all gathered around my bedside, and they sang, Peace, Peace, Wonderful Peace. And um, it wasn't before long before I started singing with them. Uh, one, of the, one of my sons said, Mom's going to be okay. It's going to be all right. So the next day I had my surgery and takes, took a few days to recover and to get back to my normal self. And, um, but what had happened was I lost my ability to walk. Um, it was very frustrating because I've always been a strong person. I've always did what I needed to do and you know I was real independent on things that needed to be done. And uh, it took a lot of therapy there at MD Anderson. And uh, I had some of the wonderful, wonderful nurses there. And um, the, the therapy staff was so great. They was patient with me. They was kind. And uh, it's hard. It is very hard to learn to walk all over again. Through, um, through God's help and all the prayers that were being said at the time. They meant so much, so much to me and my family. And uh, I'm happy to report that today I am able to walk on my own and uh, I, I still have a ways to go, but um, I appreciate all of the prayers. Every one of you out there that prayed for me, God is still on the throne, and um, I have a little uh, scripture that I'd like to read to you. It's found in James, James chapter 5, 
15 and 16. And the prayer of faith will save the sick. And the Lord will raise him up. And if he has committed sins, he will be forgiven. Confess your trespasses to one another. And pray for one another that you may be healed. I, I wanted to share this testimony of mine. I have this is my fourth episode. And um, I appreciate you keeping me in your prayers at all times. Every day I, I feel the Lord. I feel, I feel that His presence is so near and so great. To, I'm, not a, I'm not a public speaker. I am not someone that who talks a lot, so I'm going to um, sign off for now, and uh, I hope you've enjoyed my testimony of what the Lord has done for me.